Hey guys, Kylie from Offbeat Art again. Today I decided I wanted to try and do something a little bit different and so what I've done is I got a bit of uh, metallic silver and I've put it down for my base and I went ahead and done that off camera because I knew it would take a little bit of time um, because I didn't want to use uh, use my palette knife because metallic uh, it's it's difficult to work with um, even now it sort of keeps thinning on my corners and my sides and and everything so but anyway so I want to try a bit of a just a different pattern I suppose whereas I have used uh, Semco silver as my base mixed with glue 65% um, glue 35% water and then I mixed up Liquitex Basics Brilliant Blue and Napathol Crimson and Joe Sonia's Proven Provincial Beige and I got a burgundy. I was, I was wanting burgundy and I mixed it up until I got a beautiful burgundy. Um, and then I got Joe Sonia's burnished copper and the pale gold. And I got like a, I don't know, sort of like a rose gold. Um, and then I used a bit of black with white to get me a charcoal. And then I used boil rose pink with some Fio peach. And that gave me this beautiful pinky color. And I'm going to try a swipe. And it looks like I had an air bubble there because I torched and it went and popped on me. Um, yeah, so I want to do a swipe, but I'll... Oh, sugar, and I didn't even mean... Oh, I've been all fumbles today. Uh, and this is going to be a pain. I was going to uh, test this theory on a... On a... Um, a tile but then I thought maybe the uh, metallic silver wouldn't take too well to a tile so I decided to use this canvas because I want to do it on a bigger scale but I'm just uh, experimenting at the moment um, to see how I go with it before I go in and ruin or possibly with the potential to ruin a big canvas. So here we go. I'm going to use the charcoal and put hopefully a thin line down here because I just want it for a little bit of contrast. And then uh, I'll go with the burgundy. And I'll go with the rose gold. And then I'll put the pink in. Alrighty, and 
now I'm going to swipe it. After more of the that's it. very easy to go through to the canvas. Sugar. Pink is really dominated. I want a bit more of the uh, burgundy. this hmm. it's not as wispy as what I thought but then in saying that I probably put down a little bit too much paint in the middle being the first time and uh, it's not an, an over big canvas because I plan on doing it on a much bigger canvas. So I might just go this way for a bit of difference. Why not? Give it a bit of a different look. I don't know what you guys think of it. I'm uh, yet to make up my mind on it. Pink dominates quite a bit. I know for next time to put less. sort of swallow up 
It's like a metallic, doesn't it? Look at that, it sunk right in. Hmm. The rose gold, wherever it goes on here, has sunk through the others. And yet, I didn't even uh, really water them, like, mix them with the pouring medium. I only put an itty bitty, uh, I only put a couple of grams of pouring medium in um, because it was already very fluid. So I used very, very minimal pouring medium on there. And uh, it's sinking right through. So I might have to rethink that. Maybe use one of my other heavier, one of the other brands, not the Joe Sonia's, for my, my gold, something that's a bit more thicker, heavier bodied, because that's just turned out a pink mess, to me. Okay, I'm going to scrape it. I don't do this often, but if I don't like something, I'm going to get rid of it. Because that's just blah. It really is. Um, yep. Bye bye. Sugar. Move that out of the way before I spill it. I didn't have nothing else planned. I didn't think it would do what it did. So, um, I didn't have nothing else in case, you know. I've got my other pigments there. I've got my other paints there mixed up, but. Clean this up and then recoat it and everything. I might pause you guys, fix it all up, and then come back. I think. Just try and clean that hand up a little bit. Let me see. Where's the pause button? That's not it. Hey guys, back again for round two. And I thought I'd change it up and do a spin since the last little uh, experiment didn't work. So I've already covered my canvas. I'm just going to put a little bit of a pillow down since I've already um, put paint down. And uh, I've got my hands onto some mega fluoro colors and like that camera is just not doing those colors justice this is like so bright it is outstanding it's a uh, Durban fluoro orange and this camera is shit but anywho um, beautiful color so I thought we'll go with that and I also got some pink in the same brand it's a oh well it's a fluoro magenta and it's it's just so vibrant and then I threw in a bit of Jay Burroughs fluoro purple 
And why have I got teal in my hand when I'm not even putting that in there? But anyway, and then I thought a bit of gold on the top. And I went and asked my daughter, and I couldn't make up my mind. And uh, what cell activator to use? Whether to go white or black. And my daughter suggested black um, because she said it would probably highlight the colours more. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Anywho, so I said, stop it. We'll do one of each. So that's what I'm going to do. So down goes, I think, the fluoro orange first. There we go. Then I think I might go with the purple. Then the pink, sugar, anywho, it's all good, no matter, and then the gold. And this is the remnants of the gold that I've had and been using for, hmm, gee, I don't know how many videos now. This is the uh, 24 karat by Deco Art. It puts a beautiful shimmer over everything. So, alrighty, we'll go the black first. And just let me center that a fraction. And it's level because uh, I make sure of that. But before that, I've got a gazillion bubbles, so I'm going to pop them. There we go. I've already done the outer layer, but uh, didn't do that. And the darn stupid thing always falls over and goes bang. Alright, here we go. Down goes the black. see how we go with this little boober. see if I can blow this out a fraction more because it's uh, majorly congregating in the middle there. give it a fraction to um, come back in and the paint started to dry because being a knucklehead that I am I uh, covered my canvas then I went and decided not to use the stuff I already had made up and made up those colours didn't I so while I was doing that this has decided I'm going to start drawing on you now. So hopefully with the spin, that'll cover it anyway. Cover any issues. Alrighty, let's see what we get, eh?
Hmm. Not too bad. Loving this. Oh, getting there. I'm not minding this negative space, neither. come out here a bit more I think All right let's go again that wasn't a very good one Loving that. Purple took over though, which is a shame, but anyway, it's blended in nicely with it, we'll say that. Alrighty, what do you reckon? I really don't think this camera gives these colours justice, I really don't. And I know. It doesn't, for some reason, autofocus like it's a darn expensive video camera for Christ's sake. But I know if I take it too close, it goes blurry because I've been watching the videos back that I've been doing. Uh, I got in and ordered a tripod for my phone. Uh, I'm going to see if that may be a bit better. I am. I'm just uh, doing my edges, guys. Remember, I told you to always run your finger or your paddle pop stick or your stirrer underneath your canvas to get any of your drips off so it doesn't pull your painting off. And if you've got any of your sides that have been missed, you just give them a bit of a finger pop and fix them up. Alright, I'll find somewhere to sit that. Where's my top? Here it is. Stick him down. And the cat's decided it's going to be a maniac again. This is what I call its spastic stage. This is a uh, 8 by 8 inch, I'm pretty sure. 20, 20 or a 25 centimetre tile. Alrighty, now we went orange and then purple. And the purple took over. So what if we go purple first? Put down a bit of purple. Then go the row orange. Then the pink. Well, 
Wow, these colours are just... You've got no idea. I'll post up photos on my Instagram page for you to see if you want to head there and have a look. And on, on Facebook. Um, Instagram is off underscore beat underscore art 20. Um, if you want to have a look on there, I'll stick some photos up there of the finished product because my camera does take true to colour photos. Alright, let's try the blower again. Purple's gone and mixed. All right, here we go. many cells. The cells that I did have have come off, but all my activators staying in the middle. Oh, that was smart dumped my apron and all the stuff on the side there. I'm a shocker when it comes to painting, I really am. Alright, let's give it another go. I'm loving all this. Not so much this. Not a lot happening here. have a terrible lot of paint left neither. It's not really wanting to move. Alright. Spin it the other way. a dud because I'm left I'm right handed. Oh yeah. Oh I like that. Now let's see if I can get it up because I did not bring my palette knife over here. And I'm on. Let go. Very good. Very good. Loving it. What do you think, guys? The pink came through more. The pink and the orange. But the pink sort of mixed with the purple, too. Alrighty guys, thanks for that. Thanks for hanging around. If you like it, please give me the thumbs up. 
I would love to hear any feedback in the comments. Hey, tell me which one you prefer, the white or the black. I'm going to have to go study the other one again and make up my mind. But um, if you like it, please subscribe to my channel and um, hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified. And uh, I shall stick this up tomorrow. It is currently Saturday night. So I wish everybody a happy Easter also. And I hope you aren't going too stir crazy with uh, everything that's going on. But um, hopefully you can have a, a pretty good day tomorrow, even with the restrictions and, and everything. So happy Easter, guys. Stay safe. Please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Okay. Bye for now.